Good afternoon, it's Kay from The Paper Shed, welcome back. Um, I'm here again today with another episode of the Whole Book Challenge that's been hosted by Tanya at Tatty Treasures. Um, I would like to say a huge thank you, Tanya, for hosting this. It's been a fabulous learning curve and everybody's um, ideas and thoughts that have gone into it all have been absolutely fabulous up till now. Um, I am taking over an extra day um, for our Rita, who unfortunately is still not very well. Um, we all hope that you do get better soon, Rita, and uh, we are missing you on screen, so hurry back. Thanks um, again. I'm going to dive straight in. I have got a few funny ideas, but we'll see as we go along. <laughs> um I'm going to start really with just some, an, an easy, an easy one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need that one. I just, I don't know. So we'll just, um, I'll just rip these pages up because I've got a few straight edges. So I'm filming this slightly early. Um, this is this will go out on the 17th of October, but I'm filming it quite early in the month. So um, so yeah. So let's get started. We need two pages for this one. If I can get two pages, that is okay. Um. And all I'm going to do, I've ripped my page. Let me take those off and then that will make it a little bit easier. Okay, I'll just take it. It doesn't matter really. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that into there and then I'm going to fold, oh I want to do it the other way around, right, I want to do it that way so that my words will be upright, yeah I do, um, and then this one, turn that upside down, yeah and then I'll hide that as well. Okay, so I've done, done it the wrong way now. I? I want it upside down. <laughs> this is really easy, I promise. <laughs> um, it would help me if I was like that. And now I've done that one wrong. Okay, we are there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put those two together. And then I'm going to put this one. I'm going to just fold that one down a bit just to give it a bit of strength on that edge. And then that one is coming up to there. And then I'm going to fold this one slightly deeper because I want that to be a smaller pocket on the front. And the words are the right way. Just burnish that. And then all you do is literally just glue them together. So let's do that. You can ink. I'm not inking at this stage. I'm just going to do that down. Sorry, I'm aware that I'm off the camera when I come too close to myself. And then we're going to just glue this in here. 
Okay. I'd probably sew this one actually. And then we're just going to do this one. Just to strengthen that. I haven't actually been, with a lot of them, I haven't been gluing them that I've been following purely because I know that I'd probably want to sew it. So I've um, refrained from that and I probably would do this one in sewing as well. Um, and then you've got a pocket there when I've let it dry. You've got a pocket here, pocket here. And then you've got a, no pocket there because I've just glued it a pocket there. But you could leave that open so that you could create another pocket over here so you'd have a full wide pocket as well. So that's the first one. And I'm just going to move them to one side as I do them so that I can get on with the next ones. two pages for this one as well and all we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half I don't mind that raggedy edge to be honest I'm going to fold that in half and then I'm going to split this into quarters or thereabouts there's the other piece of paper It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, they're going to be pockets, I pockets. I'll just use that just to uh, lift those up. And then what I'm going to do is fold them together. And I'm just going to pop them over my page. Like that, and I'm going to take that off so that's my rubbish. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these back on themselves. Would help if I had to write them up the right way. Take that the opposite. Oh, I don't want to do it the opposite way. Oh, I suppose it won't matter, I can put it in a different. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna so this would be glued or you could leave the top open that's what i'm going to do i think i'll leave that top open as a pocket so there's a pocket there you could put a a notch in that and use the back or the side and then we're just going to put these on like so so we're all going to go in and we're all going to be level like that And then these are all the uh, three little tuck spots. So you glue this down and then you glue that one over there and down there. Well, you wouldn't because that's the wrong way. <laughs> Let's do it the right way. There we go. So we've got the first one. Just gonna not push that one down just yet. Just gonna do the second one. It's going down in a line. I don't have to go a bit further actually. Okay. 
this one is the same. Okay, so what we've got there, let me just get a piece of card. We've got a little pocket there, a little pocket there, and a little pocket there. You've then got a pocket here. And then you can either go in that way or have another pocket at the top. So they're quite nice, big pieces. Um, then I got some little bits that I wasn't sure about how to do. So these need to be into squares. Okay. So these need to be squares. So I am going to do a couple of these ones. And then I'm going to do an eight. I need one, two, three, three squares I think I need. So I'll do three pages. Okay, and I'll just get those. I'm not going to throw those away because I'm going to use those to make another one of those for the opposite side. But I'll do that again in just a sec. So what we have first. So we have this first. Then what we do is we bring this down to the middle and crease. Then we bring this one. like so and then we we'll bring this one so you're lining it up with the top when you do this so that you get that sort of inner shape there and you just literally open that up and there you have a nice little unusual pocket for the front so you can you can glue it down or you don't have to um, it does stay down quite well. You could use, you could just glue this down. You could use that as a little journal space there, and then you could use that as your pocket, which is. Oh, I, I, am I filming off the screen? I don't know if I am. I'm working too far in. There we go, see if that is any better. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was really cute and it's very, very simple. Literally, you just, I'm going to do two because you could put two on a page. So, well, actually, I've got another one. Is that the same? No, they're straight. <sighs> so, yeah, I'll just show you how to do that again. So, you get your, your square piece of um page paper you just bring that point right down to the middle of there and crease then you turn it to the side you're lining this up with the top of there <coughs> sorry i do apologize and you're going to do the same with this side so you're just going to bring it in and pop that to the side as well although that hasn't gone into the right amount there we go okay then you open those up as i said you can glue these ones down you could leave that flap and it could become a p you know a um journal space i know it's very small but you could make these as small or as big as you wanted to obviously they're restricted sizes by by the pages that we're using so yours may come out a bit uh, a bit smaller or a bit larger 
So again, we're going to start off with another one, another square. We're going to fold that up. Then what we're going to do is we are going to bring this one in so that we're leaving quite a big space up here. Oh, hang on. First of all, we just need to bring that down again like we did with the first one. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to do that, turn it round, do that. So all you're doing really is, um, and you're levelling these up with the bottom, so your lines here should be straight, whereas that one was lined up with the top to create this this shape this one is lined up at the bottom to create a flatter surface and then you can either glue that you can tuck it in so if you wanted this as a um as just a journal piece with a little pocket then you could do that but they're quite nice they hold quite a bit you don't need glue if you don't want to use glue and it can actually be opened up and you can use it as a journal piece. So that's quite a nice, neat idea. Um, the other one that's similar to that one, let me move that, um, is exactly the same. So we'll do it again. I just need to create a square with my page. And then what we're going to do is exactly the same again. We're going to pull that down to the middle. We're going to fold that in and line it with the bottom. Okay, we're going to then line this one with the bottom as well. Bringing it in as far as the other one. So you want equal amounts of this. This has got to create a triangle. That's what you're looking for. And then what we do, just as a little added extra, we're going to turn that back and line it with the bottom. And then all you're going to do is push that open and that creates a little diamond shape there for you. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's just a design thing, but I thought that was actually quite cute. So that's something else. You do need to glue these ones, though. Um, so we will do that. Um, that one was first, and that one. So I thought that was quite cute. That'd be nice in um, double-sided uh, scrapbook papers. That would be quite nice. <clears throat> Another journal thing that I um, thought of, I don't know whether you remember them from when you were at school. And, and I smiled when I saw these. Because, um, again, you're making another square. These really you are just origami sort of um, journaling spots, really. Just unusual pieces that you can put in, add into your journal. So I'm just going to make that into a square. This is slightly small, but this would make me smile if I found one of these in a journal. And I would have to open it to find out what was in it. We used to make these all the time at school. Um, I don't know whether if you're in America, that this would apply to you. Um, but it definitely is over here. And then what you do is you fold that. 
you fold that and then these used to be for your fingers and then you've got your little things these open up with little words on and so on so you could use that as a little journaling spot I just had to do it again because it just reminded me so much of at school you know we used to have like silly phrases like who which boy likes you in class that sort of thing would you kiss so and so <laughs> it just brought a smile to my face when I saw it and just I just had to do one okay so now I need two pages together um we'll stick the raggedy sides together so I've just been using masking tape you can use whatever you want um washi tape is fine Okay, I'm just going to come over there. Oh, I don't know. Okay, there we go. And then I just need my scissors. Okay. And um, just got to crease that in because when you use masking tape, it's quite sick. Just so that I'm going to put the two pages all together. Oh, actually, I think I've done that now. Right? Didn't need to, but we'll make something with it now it's done. Um, Okay, so just because I like a bit of triangle, but we're just going to turn that one in. We're going to turn that one in. Okay, we're then going <coughs> to turn it over and bring that up. And then we're just going to turn these in just for extra strength. Be the other way. Okay. And then you've got a double insert there, triangle one, as a page insert. I've got a pocket here. Um, hmm, is there a double way to do that? So that you get another pocket. No, you wouldn't get it, would you? Okay, well, I like it like that anyway. That's fine. Yeah. But it's just something a little different from your square sort of insert. So that's another one done. Then with this one, we have to make a square out of two pieces. And I need to do this twice. So I need that one doing and I need that one doing. Okay. So we need to just measure the page. Which is five and one, two, three eighths. So to get it to five and uh, how did I do this now to get the square? I have to make this 
It's the length, isn't it? I'm supposed to be measuring, not the width. I need a bigger ruler. So I have an eight and a half inch page. So to make that square, and the only reason that I'm doing it joining the pages is because one, it's sturdy, it's more sturdy, the page is more sturdy, and two, because um It just saves you cutting the pages up. So that's eight and a half. So that's an eight and a half inch square. So I'm just going to pop. So tape down on that side. And some tape down on this side. You can use whatever you want if you just add to the project, really. I'm just keeping it plain so it doesn't um, haze me in what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got those, that one done. Just going to do the other one because I'm going to need two, two lots of eight and a half. That's near enough. You could just glue these, to be honest. Shall we glue this one just so that you can see? So we want to line down here, so from here, so we want that line to come all the way down here, that's me just being too rough and sticking a hole right through my page, okay. It's just as easy, to be honest. So what we want to do now is we want to bring, we want to completely fold it in half. Obviously my squares are on here, which is that one right across the middle there. And then you want to, that's that one. Okay, now I've got it. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to bring this one in and level with the bottom. So like we did before with that smaller version, we're doing a larger version here. Okay, so that's what we've got. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down to go level with that. Let the other side go down so I'm going to bring the other side down as well. And then what we we'll do then yeah and then what we do then <clears throat> is we fold these in like that. We fold it in the middle. So it's like that. This is where you can start to crease if you need to. And then you've got a fold down here. And a fold down there. Okay, so what you end up with... They go on the inside actually. They go on the inside. No, I folded it the wrong way. There you go. So the plain bits go at the back. And then you fold these inside so that you've got this. And then what that gives you, where's my little card? You've got a pocket here, a pocket here. A pocket there 
a pocket there and a pocket there. You could also actually put these in the middle of your book because you then could glue this to here and you'd have another pocket there and another little pocket there. So I thought they were quite good. So this was done with a smaller piece. So my, the pocket came out quite a bit smaller. But again, you've got this pocket here, another full pocket there, full pocket there, full pocket there. And then when you go inside, you've got your little pockets. I thought they were quite nice. Um, so that was good. Now this one has to be cut. So I'm going to have to just open this up. Okay, so what we need to do with this one is, did we fold it in half? No, we folded it in threes, didn't we? So they have to meet over the middle. So you're just going to fold your page lengthwise and they fold over the middle. More or less, so it doesn't really matter where it is. What we're also going to do is bend it in the middle. So we're going to make that equal at the top and the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to open it up. And then these two side pieces, we're just going to cut them to that first crossroads on both sides. Okay, and then you're going to bring that one up to your line, to where your line is. You're going to do the same with this one. Bring it back to your folded line. Same with this one. Fold it back. Fold it back to where the line is. Okay. Yeah, I get it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring, so we're just going to bring this one over. We're going to do the same to this side. If it's not straight, just straighten it up. Okay, then do the same on this side. So that comes over to your first crease. And then that one comes over to your other crease. You glue these ones down then. And you glue this one down. Okay. And then you fold that in half. And you can either use it as a little belly band type thing. Or you can glue the bottom down here and you've got a pocket there and a pocket there and a split here. So you can use it. Lots of ways to use that. I thought that was quite good. So that's another page done. And then I'm on to the last one. Um, oh, I think I needed to. Actually, I've got these pieces here, haven't I? So, um, because it's coming up to Christmas, I thought what I'd do, I don't need glue for this, I'm just going to put my glue away. Um, is the, the little origami wreath. Um, I've seen them loads of times. They're very, very clever. Um, and what you actually need, so I'm going to use these extra pieces. So I'm still using the book things really. You need pieces that are, um, what did I use? I've forgotten now. If I just take one off. I used a piece that was four by two inches. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, so you need four by two, four inches, 
So four inches by two inches and you need eight of them. I'm just going to use my chopper because it will just be clean. Um, four by two. So that's no good. Do this quicker if I do so together. Uh, all the right way round. So I need four inches uh, by two inches. And I've now got one, two, three, four, five. So just using this one. Just make that down to four inches. Uh, so we've got five, that's six. Seven and eight. So you need eight pieces of four by two inches. And then what we're going to do, and you might want to follow along on this one. If you do, just pause the video until you get to where I am. This is. You do all of this, so you just fold them in half lengthways. This would be fabulous, actually, made with music paper. Um, they would look lovely, especially for Christmas. But then you can hang them on the tree. You can. I think they look great in a little journal on a page. Even if you um, just dangle it, really. But you could actually glue it and use it as a tuck spot. So you've got them all done lengthways. What you're going to do is on the open side, you're going to get that corner and just going to make the triangle that way. So you're folding back towards the crease line. If that makes sense and you need to do that on all of them okay and then what you're going to do then is you're just going to fold them so you're going to fold them together so facing each other where you folded so that it's plain on the back and then you're just going to fold in half like that so you've got eight pieces of that and they look like that okay so all your eight pieces need to be the same so if you just go along do all of your pieces and this is a bit fiddly by the way um it's not this bit it's the next bit that's fiddly but once you get it, you'll uh, you'll be able to do it. It's fine. Okay, so there's your eight pieces. You're going to take your first piece, and you're always going to hold at the fold in the middle. Okay. Well, you're going to. That needs to be on your right hand side, so your point is pointing left. Then you get your next one, same again, it goes the same way, so you're holding it like that. And then what you're going to do is the two pockets that you've created here and here, you're going to fit, she says. This is the bit I found most fiddly, but it can be done. So. And if I've got the patience for it, everybody else. Because my patience runs, doesn't run very well. So I was putting one in and then the other because sometimes it's easier. And then what you do is you just push it up so that it can't go any further past these two lines. So, oh, that one's not in. 
this is why you need to make sure that they're in because it holds them together it holds the two pieces together so it has to go into there and you push that in like that and that's the shape that you're looking for okay then you're going to hold it there and then the next piece have it the right way up so it's the shorter shorter bit at the top your points going left and then you put one side in and then you can get the other side in if you're clever because they do have to go in there for this to work now i've tried doing it different ways and it doesn't actually help No. So you can open these while it's like that to make it easier. I've tried lots of different ways so far. Um, and to be honest, I haven't come up with anything any better than what I'm doing. Well, that's one side in. No, it's not because it's just come out again. So realistically, if you if you bone fold these uh, edges they will go in better slightly better because they'll be flatter because you've got to think that you put in a thicker piece into a very slim piece there you go what you do is you do it that way and you're going up to there okay now you could glue this as you go around if you've got no intentions of ever opening it back up um same way again point to the left short on the top and then into that one and then this side can go into this side no doesn't want to I'm not going in i'm sorry if you can't actually see what i'm doing it is quite tricky to um There you go. You can see the formation now because you've got four pieces in and you've got four to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those really thin and see if I can make that work any better. So that one goes in there. And then this one. No, that's not the same at all. I've tried having the paper slightly lower, slightly taller. Um, what I've done is I've made that too thin. There we go, that one goes in, this one goes in evenly. So. So I'll just pop that into there, okay. Push it together and push it inside. We're getting there now. I should imagine the more you make, the easier it becomes. <laughs> but I just had to do one scene since it's coming up to Christmas. I don't do Christmas um, stuff, so uh, I have in the past, and to be honest, I just find. That's nice and tight in there. Well, we're nearly there. You might just have to hold it a little different when you get to these last two, purely because um, it can get in the way. So that one goes in there. In fact, you better off getting the back one in first. I always think. There we go. So straight up and into there. And then we come to the last one. And what we're going to do with this is exactly the same. We're going to go, you'll need to move it out the way a little. We're going to go into there, 
and into there like so and then this one is going to go and fit into this one And there you've got it. And you just push it all in together. And there's your little Christmas wreath. And as I say, you can actually, um, you could put a thing in for it to dangle. You could dangle something from the middle. You could do it out of different papers. Music paper, as I say, would look lovely in that. Um, it is extraordinary. That's how I look at it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you could use that for anything. I mean, you could tuck some of that and you could actually use it as a tuck, but you would have to glue the pieces in, I think. Um, I mean, you could have it as a secret message thing inside, whatever you wanted it to be, really. Um, but, yeah, I just thought since it was near to Christmas, we would, uh, or, or everybody started their Christmas stuff, um, I would do that. So that was my last piece of paper. So. Um, just to recap then, we have a double page insert there with um, some nice large pockets there. We have a nice, um, you could use this this way as well uh, as a as page insert. You could glue the bottom, use that. You could use the middle, all sorts of things that you could do with that one. Um, this one is another uh, insert and as I say you've got a big pocket there a big pocket there there and there and then on the inside you've got two little pockets there you could always add a little straight pocket along there if you wanted to um, we could have done that with what was left over actually um, yeah just my little school thing really but I think it's quite cute. Um, got a couple of nice uh, shaped pockets or envelopes, open envelope type things there. So uh, yeah, you could tie, you could glue the bottom of that. Then you'd have a pocket there, and you'd have a double pocket here. Really, so you could do more with that. This one I thought was really cute. Um, nice size as well that pocket. It's because uh, it's narrow at the bottom it sort of makes this opening a bit wider so I'd definitely be using some of those so that one's quite nice they're quite nice actually they get these little tiny envelope pocket things then what did we have here we have a triple pocket um tag thing there going on use it there there three pockets there and you can put a divot in there and use that as a pocket too so that's quite good. Then we've got our um, tuxedo pocket, I think. I don't know whether it is or not. Um, but we've got a double pocket on the front and we've got a big pocket at the back. Um, you could put that on sideways and use that as a tuck. But I, I would probably use that on a full page. So, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed all of that. Um, I hope you did too. I hope you can take something away from it, even if it's just one thing that you've um, you've seen today. Um, it will all go towards your stash. My uh, box is actually getting quite full now um, with all of these. So uh, I shall be looking forward to using those in the new year. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've all had uh, a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed it and can take something away yeah. from that. Have a good weekend and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.